because normally at this point, this is when I would take a picture. I am because it's a little bit more. See. Well, I can. I, I can. The camera helps me to determine whether it's. Well, it, like what happens is your brain starts seeing what it wants to see, mm -hmm. and the camera makes you see only what you see. Right. I'm trying to see if it's coming out when I look at it. It'll be ah, lighter to darker. I'm looking for the lights and the darks. So to your point, like, um, is there some paintings that are better than others? To me, what makes a really good painting is the quality of these little itty bitty lines that are throughout the painting. That's to me the, the thing that makes somebody a really good painter and a, just an okay painter. Okay, so it's whiter at the bottom than it is at the top. I mean, the thing about painting, what I think is, I don't really, I wouldn't characterize myself. Look at that, look how that's coming out like so good. It's like the paint, it's like the paint. I, I, it's not even me, it's like the paint does it. It's like, it's so weird, but it's like, I'm I feel like I'm such a not subtle person, you know, or I guess I'm a happy person. But people look at my paintings and they go, you're so high energy. How do you do things that are so calm? <laughs> and I think if they saw what I was doing to do it, they realized why they came out calm. Why yeah. is it the hard part? Because uh, I got to take it from one color to another color, from white to a... and have it be interesting. Mm. So, it's hard to the point where you have to... Uh, I think you have to have done it a million times. And um, when you don't know what to do, you gotta, you gotta have enough brains to walk away. Yeah. Exactly. Stop. That, that is actually the, the trick of this. That's what more and most painters did. They would leave it and come back only in a few months. Mm -hmm. because well, and that's what made my Italy painting so hard to do because there was no time to stop. Right. See now, see what it's starting to do here? This is, this is the tricky part, is to get this so that it will all look really cool. And so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to use the fabric And then it's got this cool stuff going on underneath. So I want to save some of it and take some of it away. And I think this should start looking like the picture. Yep, it's uh, very much about like knowing how the paint's going to act. So this one, one of the most interesting parts of this painting is going to be actually the sky. So 
making it some of its cool things is kind of cool. That's cool. It's coming out okay. It's mm -hmm. changing colors right before our eyes. This will be a really good one. It's this this one with the sky and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this the subtlety of this one was I did I, mm -hmm. I, I let the hose take the water this way because mm -hmm. I wanted it to go in the direction of the wind. Mm -hmm. If you could see the wind, I wanted to paint the wind. Uh -huh. So now here's what I see here. I see this as a big blue area here with like a backwards C. Mm -hmm. And then I see this color, uh, a flatter color of this. So mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the big C. This, this might work. This might work. Because there's enough. So this is going to look okay once it starts drying because it's going to have lots of depth. What do you think? I have to remember to breathe when I'm doing this. Mm.
ini So I, when I went to art school, I wanted to be a medical illustrator. I wanted to paint blood and guts. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. I wanted to go in with my camera into the operating room and take all kinds of cool mm. pictures and then... I think I got the sketch down. That's going to be red, that's going to be red, that's going to be gray, that's going to be red down there. Okay, I can see it, nobody else can, but... I can see it. You can see it? Mm -hmm. Cool.